the the scales are just not tipped in 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 favor of women that look like me and and that and that sucks and i'm in a lot of pain today and i just maybe there's something to be said for the teaching moment being the pain and just admitting that sometimes i do think about not being born looking the way i look and how different things could have been Right now, now. Oh, nah, nah. Your heart is beating so fast. I can't even speak. Hey YouTube, what it do shouty? My name's Anime and you're watching Chicane TV. Hey guys, this video is triggering, so I want to put out a triggering warning to all black women who are possibly going to be traumatized by the discussion of black women being mistreated during pregnancy, um, during childbirth, and just the mistreatment of black women in general. This is not going to be a happy-go-lucky video. This is going to be a very triggering video. So I want to just put that warning out there right now. Apologies for my husky voice. I think I'm coming down with a little bit of a tingly throat. So, um, yeah, let's get on with the video. Don't fucking stress me, man. If you stress me, I will block you. So this video is about a documentary that is supposed to be going live very soon. And the documentary is supposed to focus on black women and the mistreatment that black women go through during childbirth and during pregnancy. And basically the alarming statistic that black women are four to five times more likely to die during childbirth than white women. So the topic of black women dying during childbirth significantly more frequently than any other race, particularly white women in the Western civilization, has been something that has been trending for a long time. It's something that's always been a discussion in black women. You know, as a black woman, you know that you're treated differently in every facet of life, especially by the health system. Some of you may remember in July 2020, popular YouTuber Nicole Thea was heavily pregnant and died of a suspected heart attack. Nicole's passing came to a shock to the world. You know, it trended, newspapers, all around the world, the story was covered because people were asking the question, how did this happen? How did a healthy 24-year-old young black woman die eight months pregnant with no underlying health conditions. And then people started to ask questions. Is she one of the black women that had been neglected by the health service, like so many black women are? Her partner, Booger, has come out recently and released quite a few videos discussing what happened leading up to Nicole Thea's death. They have crushed everything. Not even talk about my life, what damage they've done to me. Okay, this is what this is what disturbs my soul. When we called the ambulance, why did it take so long? Okay, why did it take so long? Why are they now coming to say that they mistakenly called the wrong unit? Are you guys deep in it? They mis they called the wrong unit. So basically, a lot of things that happened to Nicole, unfortunately, a lot of black women experience the neglect, the degradation, the maltreatment that um, unfortunately the health institutions inflict on black women, um, compounding health issues and just a total disregard for the humanity of the black woman. So now we fast forward to February 2021 and I saw a trending story on the blogs that um, a singer called Rochelle Humes, who used to be in a girl group called Saturdays, announced that she would be taking part in a documentary um, discussing black women 
and the statistics that black women die four to five times more than white women during childbirth. So when I saw it, I thought, oh, that's interesting. This woman is mixed race, number one. Number two, why have they chosen her to present the documentary when so many other black women have been just talking about this and written books and, you know, have been really, really vocal about this issue? Why have they chosen a mixed race woman to discuss a documentary addressing black women? Okay, cool, whatever. So I'll put that to the side. So the following day, another trending story appeared. And this trending story just solidified the whole issue for me. So black author Candice Braithwaite posted on her page that she had actually been approached to do this documentary. And she'd been working on it for a few months. Bearing in mind, Candice Braithwaite is an author. She's written books, you know, about black women and pregnancy and, you know, childbirth, black motherhood. She has a best-selling book called I Am Not Your Baby Mother. You know, she is incredibly qualified and I can see why she was approached to um, do this documentary. And she announced that, oh, she's no longer doing this documentary because she has been replaced by a mixed race woman. Is it the second or third time in the last six months I have, and off the top, it's never really your job until you signed on the dotted line. But for all intents and purposes, lots of communications happening about certain jobs and you know you're being courted in a professional manner and la 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 so for i think the third maybe second whatever more than once in the last six months i have um lost out on a lost out let's do that for a bit lost out on a job to a lighter skinned black woman um and i've got to say you know i'm very good at keeping my head above water and doing the old, is it duck legs underneath? Paddle, 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 smile, smile, smile. Appear, appear, this doesn't hurt, just get through it. And it's just like, no, today hit like a ton of bricks. I'm like, today was the first time in a long time that I physically wanted to come out of my skin. And I haven't felt that in years. I physically wanted to try being a lighter skinned black woman. Um, to to not have to deal with the heavier or the more negative things that are in alignment with colorism so of course being the darker skinned woman in this scenario you get the short end of the stick a lot of this is happening i found an article in the independent newspaper so let's read it it kind of summarizes what's happened and um yeah so the article reads, Candice Braithwaite gutted after being dropped as presenter for documentary on black women and childbirth. Author Candice Braithwaite has responded to messages of support from fans after being removed from her role as host in a documentary about the high death rates of black women during childbirth in the UK. Braithwaite, a Sunday Times best-selling author, journalist and TV presenter, was apparently dropped after Rochelle Holmes was brought on to present a TV show with the same theme. In an Instagram post, Braithwaite said that she was contacted in March 2020 to discuss the idea of hosting the documentary and believed it would take place until six weeks ago. Braithwaite was apparently responding to Hume's Instagram post made on Saturday the 6th of February in which she announced her own project. So I think what I'll do is I will read Rochelle's announcement on her page and then we will refer to Candice's post on her Instagram page in response to that. So Rochelle posted on her Instagram page, Hey gang, I'm currently making an investigative documentary looking behind the shocking statistics that in the UK, black women die during pregnancy, childbirth and shortly after at a rate of more than four times that of white women. I want to find out why this is and have met some incredibly brave women as part of my investigation into what is going on. This is a very difficult and sensitive issue, but I think in order to make a change, it's really important to give a voice to families that have lost loved ones in this nature. I'm hoping in making this film, it leads to tangible changes and solid commitments to bringing these rates down. 
that's my goal kiss kiss so you know Rochelle wants to find out why black women are treated differently to white women so um yeah so shortly after Rochelle made her announcement Candice Braithwaite also made an announcement on her page and she said well that got interesting I appreciate the love and support the truth is up until six weeks ago I thought I was going to present that documentary I had been contacted in March of 2020. It had been an ongoing discussion for the past nine months of the year. I'm not sure what happened, but it's not meant to be. Although it was going to be something I'm passionate about, I have to set my ego aside because it's not only I who tried to highlight the disturbing data when it came to black women dying in childbirth. It's a group effort. It always has been. So as gutted as I was, the message remains the same and it's such a serious issue that we should hold space no matter who is narrating the story. Why is this happening and what can we do to fix it? Hopefully documentaries, books and most importantly listening to black women will help fix things. And then she left her heart. So I totally appreciate Candice Braithway taking the high road in saying, you know, as long as the story's being told, it doesn't matter who's telling it. The thing is, I I know where she, I know what she's trying to do. You know, she's trying to take the moral high, high ground, which is what black women always do. You know, we always, even when we've been hard done by, even when we've been slapped in the face, we've always got to turn the other cheek to allow them to slap us again. We've always got to be emotionless and constantly smile in the face of adversity. You know, we've always got to, you know, um, say, oh, it's all right, oh, no, don't, oh, no, don't worry. We've always got to diminish our trauma and make ourselves feel small in the space of being shitted on. And her saying it doesn't matter who tells the story is not true, it does matter who tells the story. And the fact that they replaced her with a biracial woman and erased the blackness out of the story is the very reason, is the exact same thing that they do to black women. And it's the exact reason why black women are dying more than white women. If, if you know, the, the same racism, the same colorism that black women experience when giving birth is the exact same thing in what they've done in this very moment by erasing the black woman from being able to sh tell her story. Rachel Humes is a biracial woman with a white mum. Her experience during childbirth is not going to be the same as a black woman during childbirth. It is not going to be the same. And that is the reason why the whole BAME thing and women of colour irritates me. It irritates me because we are not the same. Our experiences are not the same. Rochelle Humes' proximity to whiteness affords her the privilege that a black woman would never have. When Rochelle Hume's white mother walks through the door, the health service and, and, and everybody, the world at large, is automatically going to see her completely differently as they would a black woman that has just given birth with a black mother walking through the door. It's two completely different experiences. Rachel Hume's is light skin. We all know that um, biracial women are fetishized by um, Western societies. There, there are so many layers to this. There are so many layers to this. But most more importantly, the fact that they have erased the, a black woman from telling the story of other black women in itself depicts the very racism that black women experience in that very moment. And, the, and, and I think the fact that Rachel, Rochelle Humes couldn't see the erasure of that and agreed to present the documentary as well speaks to the privilege that she has because if it was me as a as, as a black woman I would not have felt comfortable if a, a documentary maker a producer came to me and said oh anime we want to do a documentary about about mixed race women can you host it why would I why would I volunteer I'm not a mixed race woman my exp I, I I have no idea what it means to be a mixed race woman I just think that, you know, but for some reason, Rochelle was kind of like, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm not blaming her. I'm just saying that it speaks to her privilege. 
I also think there's a wider discussion the black community needs to have about mixed race and biracial people. If there was going to be a documentary about white women, specifically about white women, Rochelle Holmes as a biracial woman would not have been cast as the presenter because white women want white women to represent them. And they do not acknowledge mixed race people as white people, they don't. So why does the black community acknowledge mixed race people as black people? Why? The black community needs to step away from the oppressive and racist one drop rule and call mixed race people mixed race because that is what they are. I think if a mixed race person wants to identify as black, you know, as long as they are explicit that they are a mixed race person, however they identify as black, I think that's different. But to allow mixed race people to continue to take up spaces that should be for black women and to be the voice of the black community, we cannot continue to allow this to continue because it is just contributing to the erasure of the black woman. Black people, we need to have, the black community needs to have some serious discussions about what it means to be black and what blackness is, because I don't actually understand what is happening here. I think it's absolutely disgusting. And I think that the producers of that documentary need to be exposed because they are perpetuating the very racism that they claim that they want to get to the root of and they want to understand and they want to investigate it. What are you investigating when you're even part of the problem? What are you investigating when you are part of the problem? It's just disingenuous and it's patronising. Anyway, guys, I could go on and on and on about this topic. Um, you know, Chicane TV covered this topic at length, especially around the time that Nicole Thea passed away last year. You know, we've done numerous videos talking about the disparity of black people in the health service in relation to this global paranamic, in relation to childbirth, you know, just the mistreatment of black women and black people in general, you know, Chicane TV have been vocal about that. And unlike other channels, I think that we are qualified to speak on it because we are black and we are black women and we actually have an experience, you know, as black people and as black women. We're not just doing it to get paid so that we can do trending videos and, and go viral and jump on trends. We're doing it because it's our lived experience. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment and subscribe and hit the notification button because if you miss it, you miss it. Toodles.